Hi all, welcome to another Dave Downey fly tying video production. Here I'll be sharing my favourite flies and methods of tying it to make catching fish better for you guys around the world. Also making tiny flies easier with styles and techniques. All the flies I tie I personally use in the old catch fish, not just the angler. And at the end of each of the video will be a wee list of materials required to tie the fly just in case you missed it in the video. There will also be a wee link to my online shop where you can purchase the flies and purchase the materials required to tie these colour patterns. Hope you enjoy the videos and it will pass the word on to your pals, your fishing mates, your clubs. Get them to have a look at the channel, see if they want to subscribe or not. Uh, all the more the merrier. So today I'm going to be tying a little black buzzer. It's really really simple. We actually only need, well technically for tying a fly we only need two materials. So what I've got is, is a 175 size 12 in the vise, right? I'm going to use some sheer 14 black as always. We're going to use some Venryards French silver wire for the rib. That's it. We are going to use some uh, gels, some resins. Uh, but I'll show you a wee bit later in the video what ones they are because they're not that well known. So all I'm going to do is start the thread at the eye of the hook and run it down. Now you can tie these short or you can tie them a wee bit longer, it's up to you. And just trim that off. And get a bit of silver wire. And honestly this is really really simple. Catch it in and then run the thread back up. Touching turns almost. Right, so just go back up and back down. Back up. And back down. Alright, so that's us done that. So that's three and a half times. And then we'll go back up. Then all we're going to do is run the wire. And then just catch it in and give it a shake, rattle and roll, break it off. Then we're just going to build up a little head. Now, some people like a bigger head on the fly, some people like it a bit thinner. So, I'm just going to go sort of in between. Now, let's get going. Obviously, you could swap to another black thread, a thicker one, maybe a uni or something, uh, to make this a bit quicker, but I'll just keep going. So obviously we're building up the shape of the head. Now really this is such an easy fly to tie. So you could tie a pile of these and just leave them. So that's it, we're going to work finish it and we're going to finish it with the resins and the varnishes. So trim that off. Now we've got a basic black buzzer. Now, That'll work, that'll catch fish. You know, that, that is a good good pattern to be honest. As a buzzer, does it? A lot of times, you know, people overcomplicate buzzers. So, what I want to do now is I want to put a coat in a gel coat on it. Right, now this gel coat is the exact same stuff. It's actually my daughter's gel coat. So, I'm just going to put a wee coat on that first to start with. Don't go on it too heavy because we've got other stuff to go on. So just give it a coat. Right, then whack it with your torch. Or in my case, I'm using, obviously I've got the, the actual proper nail thing that my daughter told me to buy, which to me is a lot better than the torch, because I can do a load of these at the same time. And it's lightweight, and it's mains powered, so they're not running out of batteries all the time. Right, so I'm just giving it a wee blast with that. Right, and I'm happy with that. So there you go. So that, as I say, that, that would work on its own. What we're now going to do, we're going to use another colour. Now this is coral, so it's a corally orange. I'm just going to turn the vise and put on the sides a little set of cheeks. 
right, you can see it just now, might go on a wee minute, little set of cheeks there, right, obviously if you don't want that bit, you would clean that off, right, just do that before you obviously use a torch, and then we're just going to whack it again, right, so obviously I'm moving the torch about because I want to get total coverage. But as you can see, that's a nice wee set of cheeks on there. And I will show you the the, 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 the gels. They, they really are fantastic to be quite honest. You know, and for the money, I think I think Laura paid something like $1.99 for these bottles. Oh, they're normally uh, Seven fifty. They're seven fifty just now on the website. I'll actually anybody that wants to know, send me a message, or I'll, I'll maybe just put it on. But it's a company called Premier Gel, right? If you type that into Google, you will find it. Uh, it's for professional nails. Comes in a cracking bottle. Really good brush on it. It's actually really good quality, to be quite honest. You've got all different colours. This one's actually you can see it's a pearlescent. It's a pearly colour, so I'm going to use that on the back of the fly. Right. So, what you need to do with these is, is obviously less is more. So you don't want to just whack tons of it on. So I'm just dabbing it on. Right. Right, so I'm quite happy with that. Then all I'm going to do is hit it with a torch again. And you can see the little pearlescent colours on the back. Look at that. That is just... Honestly, it's... The stuff's just cracking to work with. It's actually probably... I use the Venrears resins as well, but this stuff's absolutely fantastic. So... The good thing about this is, because it's quite a thick consistency on it, it's not too runny. You could do, you know, you could basically tie all those flies up. Once you've done the base coat, just whack them all in on, on a piece of foam and crack, you know, put them all under un, under the, the the light at the same time. But there you go, dead dead simple buzzer. Looks cracking. Looks brilliant. You know, it's up to you. It looks nice and shiny just now. It's up to you if you want to. Uh, you know, put another coat over the top of it all. I like to put a wee coat of clear varnish. I know some people say it defeats the purpose, but for me personally, it bring, it lifts the colours right up. So I really hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope you're going to let your mates know about it. Uh, the flies will be available on my website later tonight. The materials, as I say, it's just black sheer thread and, and silver Venyard's wires. And that's the UV resin company. If you, anybody wants a link to, to, to the Amazon page or whatever that, that I got my, my, top, my lamp from, let me know because it definitely is a good way of doing a lot of buzzers at one time. And as I say, you could, if you're going to a competition or whatever, you could just take, do a load of them, leave them, and then just put whatever colour of cheeks on that you want. You know, there's different colours. So, you know, there's a, there's a pink. There's fluorescent lime green, there's oranges, there's yellows, there's dull colours, there's bright colours, there's pearlescent colours. Give it a try, see how it goes. So I hope you enjoyed it. So tight lines guys, and have fun. Mm -hmm.